a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Goblin Slayer is a Japanese dark fantasy light novel series written by Kumo Kagyu and illustrated by Noboru Kanichiki. A manga adaptation by Kosuke Kurosi is serialized in the monthly Big Gangan magazine. and a second adaptation by Masahiro Ikono runs in the same magazine. A prequel manga by Kento Ida runs in Young Gangan. Both the novels and the manga adaptations have been licensed by North American publisher Yen Press. Three audio drama CDs have been released, bundled with the fourth, sixth, seventh, and eighth light novels. An anime television series adaptation by White Fox premiered on October 7, 2018. Premise. In a world of fantasy, adventurers come far and wide to join the guild, in order to complete contracts for whatever jobs are available. An inexperienced priestess joins her first adventuring party, but comes into danger after her first adventurer contract involving goblins goes wrong. After the rest of her party is wiped out, she is saved by a man known as Goblin Slayer, an adventurer whose only purpose is the eradication of goblins with extreme prejudice. Characters. The characters in this story do not carry proper names, but are named by their classes. The series' main character, an experienced silver-ranked adventurer who only concerns himself with hunting goblins, to the point where the guild has awarded him a specialist classification due to both the sheer amount of goblins that he has killed as well as his work in studying their habits and biology. The jobs he takes only involve goblins and takes no others, though he often gets roped into more dire quests for reasons beyond his control. His appearance is not as glamorous or elegant due to using equipment that would seem lacking for an adventurer of his rank. While wearing only light armor and carrying a small round shield and occasionally a short sword that is routinely broken and has to be reforged or replaced several times, he also reveals in Volume 4 that he wears a magical ring that allows him to breathe underwater. Dwarf Shaman noted that his equipment is perfectly suited for taking on goblins in their dark and cramped lairs. His style of combat relies more on pragmatism such as setting traps, using a weapon against its user, and taking whatever advantage that may come. He even uses his own imagination to repurpose a protection spell in order to kill all the goblins in a burning elven fortress. His most defining trait is the hatred of goblins that fuels him and his actions. The reason behind this is how his family and village were massacred by goblins and made a vendetta against all goblins everywhere. After he was orphaned, he was taken in by the uncle of his childhood friend, Cowgirl, and uses his income to pay for his stay. Though he is open to the idea of there being genuinely good goblins somewhere in the world, he believes that until proven otherwise, they can only be assumed to be evil due to the death and destruction they cause, the main female protagonist. She initially is a porcelain rank adventurer, the lowest rank, as she had just joined. Her personality consists of being young, kind, and a generally helpful person. She is capable of using healing magic and protective spells with a high amount of proficiency. After her first goblin hunt rapidly goes downhill and she is saved by Goblin Slayer, she joins with him as a new party. Even after the events of her first job, she still wishes to be an adventurer, and helps her party however she can. As she fights alongside Goblin Slayer, she learns how to use spells alternatively, gaining new spells, and has started to wear armor as the story progresses. Her backstory is that of an orphan raised in a temple into priesthood along with other orphans like her, a high elf adventurer. She came with dwarf shaman and lizard priest to find Goblin Slayer and recruit his help. They face some trouble earlier as they are unable to pronounce Goblin Slayer and refer to him by other names, until they find him. They reveal their objective. Due to the increase in other demon monsters, there are not enough people to deal with goblins and the elf army cannot mobilize to attack goblins as it would create suspicion and panic. If the army were focusing only on taking out the weakest monsters, they wish to hire Goblin Slayer to help them kill goblins. Her party also joins him to help him.
She initially looks down on Goblin Slayer due to his unkempt and weak appearance, but later comes to respect him when she sees him in battle. She initially comes off as rather naive, believing that Goblin Slayer is an affront to the idea of an adventurer, because he does not actually go on what she considers adventures. But after their encounter with Ogre she comes to realize just how strong and brave Goblin Slayer is and becomes determined to make him go on a true adventure with her and the rest of their party. She is a lightweight when it comes to drinking. She is Silverank, a dwarf adventurer and party member with High Elf and Lizard Priest. He is a cheerful and happy person mostly, and is almost always arguing with High Elf Archer. As a dwarf, he is good with metal, stone, and alcohol. At first glance, he is able to tell that Goblin Slayer is experienced and strong. He sometimes proves more knowledgeable than High Elf. A sore point for her is she is over 2,000 years old while he is only 170. He is Silverank, a Lizardman adventurer and party member with High Elf and Dwarf Shaman. Like Priestess, he can also heal, but he also uses a sword to fight and can summon skeletal familiars to assist him in battle. He often acts as a mediator between Dwarf and High Elf, stopping their arguments. He is a very calm and composed person. He cares deeply about nature due to his religion. He is also extremely enamored with the taste of cheese, which he finds exotic as his people do not raise livestock. He is a silver rank, Goblin Slayer's childhood best friend and a farm hand on her uncle's farm. Her uncle took her in on his farm once her family and the Goblin Slayers were massacred by goblins during their childhood. The reason she survived was, because she was out of town before the attack. A young woman who runs the guild's front office as a receptionist and hands out contracts to adventurers. She shows concern for the villagers pleading for help against the goblins, and is exasperated from how few experienced adventurers would take such jobs. This problem will leave inexperienced rookies to die from them, or worse. She holds great amounts of respect for Goblin Slayer, due to his willingness to take on many goblin contracts others would not touch. Light Novels The light novels are written by Kumo Kagyu and illustrated by Noboru Kanatsuki. The series was originally published online. SB Creative published the first volume under their GA Bunko imprint on February 15, 2016. Eight volumes have been released in Japan so far. A spin-off novel written by Kagyu and illustrated by Shingo Adaki, titled, was published in March 2018. Kagyu will launch a new spin-off, titled, In the Gangan GA Online Magazine. The series will run for nine chapters. The fourth volume of the light novel included an original audio drama CD written by Kagyu, as did the sixth, seventh, and eighth volumes. Yen Press licensed the novels for publication in North America, and has scheduled the first volume for release on December 20, 2016. Yen Press has also licensed the Goblin Slayer side story, Year One spin-off. Manga a manga adaptation by Kosuke Kurosi began serialization in the June 2016 issue of Square Enix's Zine and Manga magazine Monthly Big Gangan on May 25, 2016. Yen Press licensed the series at the same time as the light novels, and are simul publishing the chapters in English as they are released in Japan. Artist Kento Ida launched a prequel manga, titled Goblin Slayer Side Story, Year One in Square Enix Sinan magazine Young Gangan on September 15, 2017. As with the main manga, the prequel is simul published by Yen Press. A second adaptation of the main story, this one titled Goblin Slayer, Brand New Day, and illustrated by Masahiro Ikono, began serialization on Square Enix's monthly Big Gangan on May 25, 2018. The story adapts the light novels starting with Volume 4, Yen Press is also simul publishing Brand New Day. Takashimi Nakuchi will launch a manga adaptation of the Tsunari no Daikatana novel on Square Enix Manga Up. App and on the Gangan GA website. Anime A 12 episode anime television series adaptation by White Fox premiered on October 7, 2018, and will be broadcast on ATX, Tokyo MX, Sun TV, and BS11. The series is directed by Takaharu Ozaki, with scripts penned by Hideyuki Karata and Yosuke Kuroda. Character designs handled by Takashi Nagayoshi and music composed by Kenichiro Suehiro. 
The opening theme song will be performed by Millie, while the ending theme song will be performed by Soraru. The series will be simulcast by Crunchyroll with Funimation streaming the simuldub. Reception The light novel ranked 5th in 2017 in Takaraja Masa's annual light novel guidebook Kono Light Novel Gasukoi, in the Bunko Bon category. The first volume of the manga reached 39th place on the weekly Araikon manga rankings, selling 20,360 copies in its first week. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?